Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had um, an amazing week. Um, today I'm going to be filming a spontaneous look again, something that I'm going to create on the spot. Um, and I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I really hope you enjoy the process. And like and subscribe this channel if you found this helpful. Okay, so let's get into it. And yeah. So over the eye, I'm using a combination of products to create a cream base. I've added this blue shimmery tone from Mahi Cosmetics, my MAC NC20 concealer, as well as attempt to um, light shade airbrushing foundation. And I've just mixed it all on the back of my hand. And I've created this uh, beautiful um, turquoise dark blue shade on my lip. Next, with a fluffy brush, I'm taking this light green shade by Makeup Forever, LG90A, it's called. And on the brush, I'm taking it in my crease and just above to blend out the edge of the blue and, do, and as a transition colour. I'm just sweeping it across with a light hand and doing the same on the other eye. I'm next taking a light pinky shade by the Makeup Foundation called Showbiz and placing this uh, just above that area where I um, almost reach my brow bone, just above the green. This is acting as a contrast colour and also to buff that green out a little. Then next taking a purple shade by Inglot in the matte range in 379 on a bullet brush. I'm going to place this, tap it and slow and lightly blend on the outer V area. To blend this out, I'm going to use a fluffy brush to sweep it. Eventually you'll see that. I don't want to drag too much product away, I'm just kind of tapping it and moving it so it blends out a little. Next, I've just placed the same brush in the actual purple colour and just dabbing it and swirling it around. Next, I'm taking this magenta shade. This shade um, is by Makeup Forever and it's a MA778. I'm tapping this with a flat blending brush so that it blends into that uh, purple shade. Tapping it with a fluffy brush and blending it. Next I'm going in with that same light colour pinky shade called Showbiz by the Makeup Foundation and I want to increase that tone on my brow bone uh, to add contrast. Then taking an angled brush, I'm patting this into this light turquoise blue shade by Inglot. This is called uh, 372 in the matte range and I'm doing this on the inner corner and just sweeping that along and stopping at the middle of my eye. I'm then taking a brown shade which I'm not sure you can see but it's just a matte brown. Um, I think it is the matte brown in 329 by Inglot as well. And I'm meeting this and joining it in the middle with the blue. I'm now taking a light purple shade by the Makeup Foundation in shade Psychic. And with a bullet brush, I'm sweeping this all over that area underneath um, the waterline and just blending all that brown and meeting it at the, at the green teal colour. Next on my bullet brush, I'm taking a blue eyeshadow by the Makeup Foundation called Liberty. As you can see, I'm just sweeping this in the outer corner um, in that little pocket area of my crease. Next, I'm taking a Makeup Forever um, eyeshadow LJ57A. Um, on a fluffy brush, I'm just adding this on the outer area of my eye, just above the um, crease, add a bit more contrast. Then, followed by a shimmery um, Inglot shade. This is the Pearl 395 by Inglot. And with a um, little flat brush, I'm just adding on the inner corner. As you can see, just to capture the light. And then I'm going to go over my waterline with the Maybelline Color Show Coal Pencil and I'm going to be using this turquoise flash color. These uh, Maybelline Coal Pencils are really, really lovely. They come in so many different colors. And I've just added this turquoise flash color because it's going to really complement all of those cool tones I've used around the eye. It is stunning the way it looks in the waterline and it's just so easy to apply. 
I'm now powdering all of my makeup uh, because I didn't do it earlier. I probably should have, but I'm just doing it now. And using just a fluffy brush and my uh, Makeup Forever HD powder. For my blush today, I'm using a Makeup Forever blush LK79A and just sweeping on my cheekbones and just a little bit higher in my temple bone. As a highlighter, I'm using an uh, Inglot Pro Eyeshadow 395 and I'm just sweeping this on my temples a little bit in the middle of my nose and on my cubist bow. Next I'm going over my top waterline with a chocolate chip coloured uh, eyeliner by Maybelline in the colour show range and I'm just using a tissue so I don't move any of the product on my eyelid. Then I'm going to curl my lashes with an eyelash curler. Yeah. Um, I like doing this step, it really really helps uh, make the lashes seem a little bit more volumized once you put the mascara on. The mascara I'm using is Great Lash by Maybelline. Um, I just really really like this one and I've been meaning to um, try out some new ones. I love putting on the bottom bottom um, eyelash. Ugh. I love to add it on the bottom of my eyelashes because it just balances out the eye. Never used to do that. Now I'm taking a, a lip liner by Make Makeup Forever 15C. It's called and it's a pink shade. Um, this is an aqua lip. It helps the color stay on longer. It's waterproof. I'm now creating my own lip colour using a lip butter and mixing it with the um, coral and white pigment from my Makeup Forever Flash Colour Case. Taking it with my spatula, putting it on the back of my hand and I'm using these um, to create this lip colour that I have on my lips now. Um, I like to create my own lip colour um, and experiment um, because you don't always have the colour you want in your case. It's always a little bit more savvy to um, come up with your own colors from what you have in your kit. So that's what I'm doing now. Just applying it, on, applying it with a small little flat art brush. Oh, so now I'm just taking whatever's left on my hand from that lipstick and just really blending it into my fingers and warming it up and then just tapping it on the top parts of my cheekbone. What do you think? I hope you like it. Okay, so I've called this look Coral Reef. It reminds me of the colours at the Great Barrier Reef. I can't wait to create another video for you and have a lovely week and bye for now.